Dear students, in this video we will see computer awareness, previous year's exam questions and answers. You can test your uh, preparedness for the entrance exam. I will give an answer of the after a brief pause. Some more additional information also I will give here so that those who are not from the computer background or computer science background rather, so they can get some idea about the concepts. First question. Which, uh, which among the following is used for removing a software bug by defect which is available for free of cost from the software provider? Software provider means from where we purchase the software. For example, if we purchase the software from Microsoft, right, time and again, what they will give? They will give some facility free of cost so that we can remove the software bug or some defects in the existing software. So what is that? Version, update, help or CPU. This is freely given by the. So correct answer here is update. For example, if you purchase Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows software, right? What they will do? If there are any some defects found in the software that is a bug known as bug or a defect. So they will keep on giving you the updates. So these updates will help you in removing these bugs. In the answer key given by the technical board who conducted the entrance exam, they have given CPU, but CPU is the wrong answer because CPU is not a software, CPU is a hardware. Now next question. CPU means, what is the full form of CPU? It is also known as the brain of the computer, right? CPU stands for what? It is central processing unit. CPU means central processing unit, the most important part in the computer. Next question. What is the name given to the technique of connecting computers? For connecting computers, there are different models are there. These are rather models, not technical. There are different models in which the computers are connected. Right? What is the name of the technique given to that for connecting computers? Correct answer is topology. We have star topology, bus topology like this. We are having different types of models in which we connect the computers. Whereas when the connection of our connect, different computers are connected, that is known as a network. What are the different ways of forming the network? General name is topology or like models we can say. Next question. What do we call the time it takes for an entire message to completely arrive at the destination from the time the first bit is sent out of the source? For example, this is the source computer. Right, this is the source computer. From here we are sending some data to destination computer. In the network, for example, you send a message. In the network, if you send a message or if you send an email, so how the email will go? One zero, one zero, one zero. All it will be like this only. One, one, one zero. It will go. So it will go from the source machine to the destination machine. The sending one is the source and the receiving one, receiving one is the destination. So what is the time it takes for the first bit? This is the first bit. A zero has started from the first. It reaches the destination. What is the time it takes? So that is known as the latency. That is known as the latency. Next question. Which of the following represents the transmission time? So how we calculate the transmission time? How much time has taken to transfer the data? Transmission time is, suppose this is the source computer, the sender, and this is the receiver, right? We send some data from here. How much time it takes? That is known as the transmission time. How much time it takes to transfer the data from the sender to the receiver? Transmission time. So how we represent this transmission time? What is the correct answer here? The size of the message the size of the message divided by bandwidth. Bandwidth, I, I have given here the definition here, refers to the capacity of the network to transfer data, like the speed we can say. 
कैपेसिटी ऑफ द नेटवर्क टू ट्रांसफर द डेटा सो साइज ऑफ मिसेज साइज में साइज ऑफ द मिसेज हाउ मेनी बाइट आर हाउ मेनी बिट्स वी आर सेंडिंग डिवाइडेड बाई द कैपेसिटी सो द आंसर इज हाउ वी कैलकुलेट द ट्रांसमिशन टाइम मिसेज साइज बाई बैंड विथ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज नेसेसरी टू बी वेब पेजेस ऑन द इंटरनेट यू आर हैविंग इंटरनेट सो हाउ वी कैन सी द इंटरनेट द डेटा फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट वेब पेजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू ओपन ए न्यूज पेपर इफ यू ओपन एनी वेबसाइट सो विच सॉफ्टवेयर वी नीड वी नीड दिस वन वेब मेल ब्राउजर ऑफिस और फ्लैश तो वेब ब्राउजर द करेक्ट आंसर आई कैप्ट हियर इज वेब ब्राउजर So, what is the meaning of web browser? For example, example here is Google Chrome, right? Google Chrome mostly available in our mobile phones. No, that is an example of web browser. This is an example of web browser. Internet Explorer is also there. Uh, Edge is also there of uh, Windows. Then you have Mozilla Firefox. These are all examples of the web browsers. Now next question What is the maximum font size available in MS Word from the drop down list Font size means what suppose if you write something for example if i write hey hi in the computer or on the mobile phone somewhere here we are talking about the computer because MS Word software mostly used in the laptops even though nowadays it is available in the mobile phone smaller version so now we want to increase this size we want to make it big right so what is the maximum size available in the drop down list something like this list is available no that is known as the drop down list so that is 72 is the maximum available in the ms word even though we can do bigger than that but in the list it is shown as 72 even though we can make bigger than that 72 is the maximum font size like this i have kept here figure so you see here 72 like this it is the maximum font size that is available in the microsoft word in the drop down list next question css used for css it is known as the cascading style sheets css means cascading style sheets it is used in the especially in the field of website designing in the website designing we will use the css the full form is in the question may be asked about the full form also cascading style sheets next question the operating system is the most common type of operating system is we know like the windows unix right then we are having in the mobile phone we are having what is it android like this. these are the operating system in laptop mostly we are having windows so what it will do uh, what is the type of the software this is not for communication means like network application software means for making uh, applications like uh, bank application something like that so word processing means like ms word is example it is an example of system software operating system is the one it it manages the hardware right it manages the hardware uh, how the computer is nothing but a hardware how you can manage this hardware the resources in the hardware memory hard disk and all those things cpu so it is done by the operating system very important software in the computers or in the mobile phone system software operating system is an example of system software next question a device which can be connected to a network without using a cable right we can connect a computer with another computer using a cable right sometimes we can connect to a computer with another one without a cable also without a cable also we can send or receive data how now what is the name of the device wireless device right without cable without wire cable is nothing but wire so the answer here is wireless device next question this primarily takes care of behind the scenes details and manages the hardware just now i have explained in the previous question what is the what is the one which takes care of the hardware who manages the hardware computer is the all hardware parts only but who is managing this one operating system right operating system is the one which manages the hardware now next question 
ए कंपाइलर विच रन वन मशीन एंड जनरेट ए कोड फॉर अनदर मशीन कंपाइलर इज ए सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर यू आर वर्किंग ऑन ए कंप्यूटर राइट दिस हैज ए सॉफ्टवेयर नोन एज कंपाइलर When you write a program and compile, what it will do? It will generate into machine understandable form one zero one zero. It will convert. For example, if you write a program in Java, what the Java compiler will do? It will convert the program, whatever you write in English, like this program you write, it will convert to ones and zeros. What is the compiler? No, which compiler is the one which generates something like this? And this can be used on another computer, right? so compiler is the one which generates the code code for the same machine but if this code can be used on another machine also without any problem then that is known as the cross compiler clear so that is known as the cross compiler then we have the next question personal computers like our laptops and all these things pcs personal computers can be connected together to form a for example if you have a personal computer this is one personal computer or laptop you can say this is computer this is another personal computer so we can connect these computers to form what network right network means what combination or collection of computers which are connected computers we can say next question an error in a computer program is called for error there is another name just remember this bug bug is also known as the error or error is known as the bug you remember this error means a mistake in the program when we write code we get some error when we do something wrong next question sometimes the sim uh, sorry the simultaneous transmission of data to a number of stations simultaneous means at the same time for example you are sending data from here and this data goes to this computer another computer same time simultaneously at the same time we can transmit the data to number of stations is known as what broadcast right broadcast means at one moment of time at the same time we can transfer data to different machines or stations in a computer what will happen when you delete a file or in a mobile phone when you delete a file where it will go it will not permanently deleted so when you delete a file is something like this will be not like this exactly something like this is there that is known as a recycle bin right when you delete a file so what it will do the computer will or the operating system rather windows will send it to recycle bin why it will send to the recycle bin so that by mistake if we have done this deletion so we can bring this back again from here so recycle bin so in the mobile phone or in the laptop when you delete a file it will go to a recycle bin so that if this operation is done by mistake you can roll back or bring back this one so recycle bin is the name where all the deleted files will go next question unauthorized copying of software unauthorized copying that means we have not given any permission suppose windows software is available ms office is available or some other software for example sql server software is available unauthorized copying and without permission of the company organization who has developed the software we are making copy illegal copy of the software used for personal gain instead of personal backup is called as you can take backup if you purchase something you can take backup but you are copying and giving to someone else what is that software piracy software piracy that means we are copying something for which we don't have permission and giving or using it in some other machines or something on the device software piracy next question collecting personal information and effectively posting as another individual collecting personal information what the software will do is or what someone will do is they will collect the personal information for example there is a computer on the internet right here we have user on the internet someone try to access here like a valid user like a valid user someone like he, he thinks that he knows this person but he does not know because he has gathered information from some other source and try and try to communicate with another device as if this is the one who is communicating right 
So this is a crime. So illegally we are getting some information about some others, username, password, something we are trying to communicate with another one. So that is what in computer terminology a network crime uh, known as spoofing. It is mostly a cyber attack we can say. Some definitions I have given. So a spoofing attack is a situation in which a person or program successfully identifies as another by falsifying data, not his own data, not his own user ID or password to gain some illegal or illegitimate advantage. So spoofing is related to a crime that is done by the uh, part of the cyber crimes we can say. Mostly hackers or someone will do. Next question. Rules for exchanging data between computers are called. So what are the rules for? For example, if you are in internet or if you are on a network, we send data and we receive data. Right. So what are the rules for this known as? Rules known as the protocols. Protocol is nothing but a rule. In general English also protocol is like a rule. Followed. In computer terms, for sending and receiving data, we say protocol. Another very important thing in the internet or network terminology is TCP IP. Here I kept TCP IP slash IP. Full form is asked sometimes in the exam. Before also it asked. In the B8 entrance also this question has been asked. TCP. What is the full form of TCP? Transmission control protocol. Transmission is like transfer. So transmission control protocol means TCP. Internet protocol means IP. So TCP IP if something is asked in the exam, you can explain this identify the correct answer. Next question. The ability to add to easily add additional user means. What is the ability to easily add additional user means that network is what capable of what. So here you have the four options. The correct answer is scalable. What this means suppose a network is there. In the network you have server you know server is available. So in server many machines can connect. For example 1000 users are connected online at the same time. Right. 1000 years say bank websites or something uh, application 1000 users are online connected. Suppose if this, is, if this 1000 is increased to 5000 in future sudden demand how many users are connected? 5000 means 1000 users have been changed to 5000 still the network is working without any problem working fast without any problem that means that network is scalable that means if the additional users are added still we can able to access the information or work in the network successfully or without any problem that is what the meaning of scalable or scalability so with this we have completed the 20 questions from one of the previous year question papers Right. Hope you got some additional information also. Thanks for watching. Those who are new can share and subscribe to this channel. If you like any contents, click on the like button. If you have any doubts, mention in the comment section. Thanks for watching.